Oh. Hey, good morning. Burr, you guys must be cold. You spent all night last night out in the wood pile? I wonder where you've been hiding. Good morning, it's seven below zero out. I better get some wood and bring you in the house and let you warm up, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't know I left you out here. I knew I should have got firewood last night. Burnt it all up, it's so cold out. Oh. Let's get you back in the house to warm up. There we go. <sighs> I hope sitting by the fire warmed you up. You guys must have got pretty cold out there by the wood pile last night. <sighs> gonna warm the truck up. I gotta run to town and do some errands. I'm gonna do that first thing in the morning while it's still so cold out. I want to do some more work on the goat disbudding box, but what we need to do today, I'm going to do outside, so I don't want to do that first thing. It's too cold for that. Whew. A little slippery there, guys. Goat's ready to come out. Good morning. Good morning, Buttercup. You got everything out of the bucket. Good morning, Blossom. Oh no! Willow. Oh guys, look at the tree. They destroyed that yesterday. Nothing left to it. Let's go out in a few days and get them some more trees. Huh, did you enjoy that, Buttercup? Well, I was like, hey, don't give her all the attention. <sighs> yeah, water's frozen. Let's see if we can get it to come out. Bam. It's not too bad, about an inch of ice, and it's been below zero all night long. This insulated box is working well. If you're in an area where you don't get like tundra weather like we've been getting this winter, this insulated box will keep your goat's water or whoever's water from freezing all the time. Just, it doesn't do good in the sub-zero weather. Alright girls, stay warm. We'll be out in a little bit to check on you again. Maybe next time I'll remember to bring them out some of those treats we made the other day. They really do like them pumpkin and peanut butter treats. You look so warm on the ottoman, Pluto. You're no fool. <sighs> yep, I bet that feels nice. You ready to go out? You can warm back up when we come back in. Come on. They're calling for another snowstorm for us starting tonight into tomorrow. We're supposed to get anywhere from six inches to a foot of snow. I hope it sticks to the ice and makes the ice less slippery. Yes, 
guess we're gonna find out whether we want to or not. <laughs> Good morning. Was yesterday's chaffe too frozen for you? Maybe that'll be better. There you go. She's hiding an egg on us, guys. I think she'll get up in a minute and we'll get the egg. Oh, we don't gotta deal with cold frozen water. That's gonna be nice. All right, I think she's hiding two eggs for us, guys. Don't want to leave them out here and with this sub-zero temps, they'll freeze. Yeah, two eggs. Nice and warm. Thank you, lady. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but you hear that? Another sign of spring. The birds are starting to chirp. Spring's right around the corner. Man, melting snow, running rivers, maple syrup season. We can stop building our new portable pig shelter. We might build another New York City. We'll have to see. The pieces for the barn is going to be getting delivered in, I think, four weeks. <laughs> so much great stuff going on come springtime. Come on, Pluto. Let's go. She doesn't even know it, but she's walking on top of a rock wall. It's going to be a good year, guys. A good year. Let's run into town, get all of our errands done. While we're in town, we'll pick up some ingredients so we can make some cheesy breadsticks tonight for dinner. <laughs> Man, that sounds good. Let's go. Nine degrees, guys. It's a heat wave. You know it's cold out when you gotta suit up to go outside and do some work. <laughs> uh, gotta bring out my rotor with a quarter round to round over some of the edges so it's not so sharp on the goats. Got my belt sander and then my orbital sander. Yesterday before I put this together I should have used the quarter round bit on the rotor and rode and rounded these edges over. But we'll have to do that with sandpaper instead. Someday we'll have a nice warm shop to work in. But for now, we can't let that stop us. Not sure if these gloves are made for woodworking or not, but they've been working pretty good. Burr, that mask is a little cold. I'll probably put it on fast forward. We'll add some music in. That way I can leave my mask on. You don't have to listen to me yell at you. I'm 
like that. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend. Be a little dust. You're a little dusty. I will wait on your border. All right, let's change out the belt sander for a rotor with a quarter round on it. Hand on my head, chest on my chest. To the sound of voices in of drums I will show you how the West was won We left New York City with our windows down We couldn't see the trees and it was too damn loud I will stand on your border and I'll search through the clouds Yeah, we left New York City with our windows down <laughs> the electrical cords are so stiff from being so cold outside, guys. Ah, crazy. We got the box all sanded and all the edges rounded over, and we couldn't get them with the router. Took the sandpaper. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus right here. Oh, it doesn't want to focus, but yeah, there we go. I rounded that over with a piece of sandpaper inside and out. So any edge that the goat's going to touch is nice and smooth now. I made the cover for it and rounded over the edges on that with a quarter round rotor bit. It's all sanded. Bam. I'm waiting for the hardware to come in to mount the lid. And then we got to let the wood warm up so we can oil it. It's kind of cold from being outside, so hopefully in a couple of days we'll be able to finish this, this up, but that's just about done. It's going to work out nicely for us. You only like to roll over one direction, so let's start over here. Ready? Sit. Down. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. <laughs> Good job. Give me five. Give me five. Sit. Give me five. Good boy. He's a fast learner, guys. He's catching on good. We're always being asked how we make our bone broth. Normally, we do it at night after dinner. So we just whip it up real quick. But I thought what I'd do, last time we made chicken, I saved the carcasses. So you can save your carcasses. You can do it when they're just out of the oven. You can do them raw. You can freeze them, however you'd like to do it. I like to leave a little bit of the meat on the bone, like on the wings and thighs. It gives the broth a better flavor. When the meat is all done, or when the broth is done being made, the meat's not gonna have any flavor. So, see all this stuff? That's like gel. That's what you want your bone broth to be like. You're trying to get out all the goodness from the bone, like the bone marrow and the collagen. You want that in your broth, so in return, you get to eat it and it helps your body out. I do our broth in the Instant Pot because it comes out a lot faster. Take a whole onion, you can cut it up, whatever. If not, just dip it in. Do four cloves of garlic. Now you don't need the best vegetables here, meaning if they're starting to go, not rotting, but if they're starting to get soft and sitting around, you can use them. Just make sure your vegetables are clean. Don't peel them. Our celery is meh, had better days, but that's perfect for making stock. So I'll stick that in right there. <clears throat> Gonna add some salt in. Can always add more for flavor later on. I filled the Instant Pot up just below the fill line with water. 
Gonna set it to manual for one hour. After the broth is cooked in the Instant Pot for an hour, I'm gonna leave it sitting in there for an hour and then I'll release the pressure. Boom, look at that beautiful thing. I like to take it out of the Instant Pot ah, to let it cool off. It's pretty hot still at this point. It's still boiling. Once it's cooled off a little bit, I like to take out most of the big stuff that I can with some tongs. We'll feed it to the chickens later on. It makes the straining process a lot neater if you can get out everything. I like doing it in the sink, that way if I make a mess, the mess is in the sink. Boom. Just like that. Put a cover on and then I just hose it down. And just like that, we get some beautiful, delicious, organic, pasture-raised chicken broth. Oh, that's gonna be good in some soup tomorrow. Oh, look at that. You can take off that fat, or since it's grass-fed, that fat is pretty good for you. That's healthy. It's just me and Olivia tonight for dinner, so we're gonna make some cheesy breadsticks. Does that sound good? Yeah. Some of the pizza dough we made the other day. <clears throat> Just gotta get it out of the bag now. Question is now, how much cheese do we want to put on? Do we want to do all of it? Yes. Looking good. A few more minutes. Oh, 
delicious. I almost forgot the marinara sauce that I made. Oh, it's so good. Let's see if we can pour some without making a mess. Eh, not too bad. Dunk yours? Yeah. I think the sauce is going to be hot. Be careful. Okay. That's good. What's better, this or the pizza? Mm, I don't know, they're both good. They're both really good. That is good. Good job. Well, it's snowing out now. It's supposed to get quite a bit overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So it'll be interesting to see what we wake up tomorrow, guys. And how slippery this ice is going to be. I'm going to go feed the goats. You girls ready for more snow? you guys enjoy the fun little intro in today's video let me know I'm thinking about doing some more of them just in maybe different places around the homestead leave it in the comments down below and let me know if you liked it or not <sighs> well we're getting ready for a storm I'm hoping it's not gonna be as bad as I've seen it in other parts of the country some places got like two to four feet of snow man I hope we don't get that all I do know is spring is right around the corner for all of us guys, spring is going to be here. That means new beginnings, new animals on the farm, garden season. There's just so much to look forward to. I hope you guys are as excited for springtime as I am. And we are here. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us. You guys are a true blessing to our family. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.